So Realm Destroyers combos can kind of be on the tricky side, especially when you uh, launch them with the back three. So I recently made a combo video and I'll put the link in the description, but I'm going to go over some um, some alternate combos you can do that are a little bit more consistent that'll, you know what I'm saying, help you if you're dropping them a lot online because um, Realm Destroyers combos can be a little bit tricky and they're very easy to drop. So if you launch them with a back three, like from right around here, you can uh, follow up with the spear, which got to be kind of quick. Right? That does about 342. And if you're like a little bit closer, you can dash up and get a stand four. But if you're like around here, around here, you won't be able to get that spear follow up after the second back three. It doesn't it just doesn't launch them high enough, right? So what you're gonna have to do is just go straight into spear. That's the most consistent I found from a max range back three. That's like the literally the most consistent you can like you can do after you launch them like around like max range like around here there are other things you can do you can like dash up and get a back three but yeah the timing is a little bit iffy see ah see i got it right there Yeah, timing for that is a little bit iffy. So, I, you know, I'd rather you just, you know, you might as well just go straight into, like, a spear. Right? Get a guaranteed 30%. Or, you know, you know, do an armor break. Or, you know. I don't think you can even get a, um... A ant mm. Eh. But you get the gist of it. So if you're like around here, you can, you know, get your back three, I mean your double back three going. Or if you're right here, just get your, uh, your stand four. Alright, so that's it for back three. Um, I want to go over the the triple back three in the corner that this combo now that does 376 but um the double back three in the corner can be kind of tricky as you can see I could I dropped it right there It, uh, it's, it can be tricky to land, like, you know what I'm saying? You have to kind of be perfect with those back threes. The, th the trick is you have to get that second back three as high as possible. So you launch them, do a back three, dash cancel, and yeah, it's, gonna, it's not going to work. You have to get the second back three as high as possible. See, it worked right there. But there's a way to kind of like, you know, um, be a little bit more consistent at it. To, like, and it's not as like as strict on the height. You can get a down three, I mean a down one. Ah. Ah, uh, that works a little bit better. All right, so um, down one into uh, standing two three works is a little bit more consistent. I feel than the stand four.
and it, as you can see, it does a little bit more damage for one bar than the uh, stand four. See, that time I got it like a little low. Like, if I tried to do stand four right there, I probably would have dropped that. Probably would have dropped that if I went for the stand four. So doing the down down one into the you know stand two three is a little bit more consistent. I feel. The only thing is you get it like a little bit less damage if you amplify it. You get it like a little less damage if you amplify it because you're doing more hits. You know instead of just doing like a stand four. So that's the only thing. It's a lot more solid I feel you know what I'm saying it's a little bit it leaves you a little bit extra room for error you can get it like you can get that second stand uh, stand uh, that second ah, that second back three a little bit lower and you know it leaves you a little bit more wiggle room with the stand four you have to kind of like do them perfect you have to do all the back threes like really perfect see what I'm saying if I would have tried to do a stand four right there, I probably would have um, probably would have dropped it. All right. So that's all I got. You know, what I'm saying the back three. I mean, the back three uh, launcher mid screen, and the you know doing the three in the corner is the only the real tricky combos. You know. You know what I'm saying. So I hope this little like, you know, this little video helped you guys out as far as like, you know, Realm Destroyer combos. And uh, like I said, I'll link my um, previous video in the description if you want to take a look at it. And I'll um, see you guys on the next one.